Today, we're gonna to talk about the first appearances and key issues for New Comic Book Day, April 21st, 2021. So let's get started. I'm Jimmy Don Kerr, and this is the Small Town Collectibles YouTube channel. Before we get into the first appearances and the key issues this week, I want to remind you to hit that subscription button if you're not already subbed up to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so that you get notified when I put out new content. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below and let me know if there's any books I'm missing this week that you're looking at. So, I uh, also want to remind you about the limited time code I've got going with Street Level Hero LA. Uh, that code is STC10. Um, you use that code, you'll get 10% off your order, but 25% of your overall order is donated to the American Cancer Society for Cancer Research. So great cause, uh, great company to work with, very uh, happy to be partnered with them. So definitely use that code, go over and check out and get you some cool books, some cool gear, um, and uh, help raise some money for a great cause. So first this week in our first appearances, we do have a few this week coming from DC and Marvel. Uh, the first one is from Nightwing number 79. Uh, you get the first cameo appearance of Heartless. Uh, from Marvel, Spider-Woman number 11, which is the first team appearance of the Brothers of the Sword. Uh, Ways of X number 1, also from Marvel. Uh, you get the first appearance of Patchwork Man. And then finally, from uh, Marvel, Captain Marvel number 28, uh, debut of a new costume and power. So not like a true first appearance, but you do get a debut of some new powers, new costume uh, from Captain Marvel 28. So that'll wrap up the first appearances this week. Uh, didn't have any second prints uh, that were very notable this week, so don't have any of those on the list this week. Uh, I do have several honorable mention books, however. And the first one on the list this week is Ha Ha number four. Uh, the interior uh, issue is fully painted by watercolor artist Patrick Corvath. Um, so that looks like it looks pretty cool. Um, I was kind of looking at the solicitation and what you know what the book looked like, and Ha Ha's been a, an interesting read. Um, if you like Ice Cream Man, that kind of thing, you'll dig Ha Ha. Uh, so Ha Ha number four is up this week. Uh, you got the second issue of Carnage, Black, White, and Blood coming out this week, and that of course is an anthology of stories by Chip Zdarsky, Al Ewing, and Ram V. Um, first one was okay. I'm not necessarily big on the anthology stories. It's not necessarily something I seek out, but that was okay. Uh, and you've got a cool cover. Uh, you know, of course, Carnage is red and black, and, and it's a pretty nice cover. The cover B looks okay as well. Uh, you also have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 116, uh, and that's got Jenica versus Bebop and Rocksteady. And then you've got several books like Orphan and the Five Beasts number two, uh, which is a book I generally wouldn't like, but I really enjoyed reading issue one, or at least it got me enough uh, to where I'm going to pick up number two uh, and kind of see how the story continues. Uh, Radiant Black number three, I've been enjoying that one thus far. Stray Dogs number three, which is another one that I never dreamed I would like, but I love, and I love the B covers on those. They're a uh, horror movie. Um, you know, homages, and I'm, I absolutely love it. Uh, Ultra Mega number two, uh, again, another book that I read that was really, there was a lot that went on in that first issue, but I kind of dug it, and I dug it enough to, you know, make me want to read number two to see where the story's going. Uh, and then Alien number two, and I'm not an Alien fan, but I know there's a lot of you out there, uh, and I probably won't pick this book up, but I wanted to make sure you knew that it was available this week. All right, so that wraps up our honorable mention books this week, so let's jump into our top five. Not a ton of stuff coming out this week uh, that I felt was very notable. Um, so there's a few on here that are more just <clears throat> really my personal picks um, of books that I'll probably pick up. And no more than number five here, uh, which is G.I. Joe or Real American Hero, Serpentor Uncooled number one. Uh, it's a 48-page one-shot uh, of the reprinting of G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero uh, from 1984, issues 49 and 50, which is the first appearance and origin of Serpentor. Uh, I love Serpentor when I was a kid, love G.I. Joe, um, and I am going to grab this because <clears throat> I want to I want to read it again. So I'm going to grab it and read it. So that's G.I. Joe, a real American hero, Serpentor, Uncold, number one. So I'm looking forward to that one. Number four on our list is The Mighty Valkyries, number one. Now, this is a premier issue, and the story is based around a wolf-type beast hunts the soul of Midgard. 
So that's a brand new series uh, and a premiere issue, and that's why it made the list this week, and that's Mighty Valkyries number one. So next up on the list at number three, uh, the mini deaths of Layla Star number one. And I'm just going to read the synopsis to you because I can't remember it to actually just like repeat it back. And I'd have to re-record this 20 times. So here it goes. Humanity is on the verge of discovering eternal life while the avatar of death becomes obsolete, living out her own mortal days in Mumbai when the opportunity presents itself to kill the creator of immortality while they're still an infant. So sounds interesting. Um, probably pick that one up, give it a flip through uh, at the comic book store just to kind of see what it looks like. And uh, if it's something that grabs me, I'll, I'll pick it up. But that's the mini deaths of Layla Star number one. Number two on our list is a book that I probably won't purchase at all, but it may interest you. And the reason that I included it at number two um, is because it's already uh, being adapted into a film uh, by Armory Films. Um, with Debbie Berman making her directorial debut. So that's Unicorn number one, and it's an allegory about life, loss, magic, and memory told through the friendship between a girl and an old horse uh, that proves to be much more magnificent uh, of an animal. Uh, there was an Ashcan preview released prior to this issue, um, and so I'm interested to see what comes out. You know, Unicorn number one, probably a children's movie. Usually those are generally pretty popular. Um, so I'll probably grab this one just for the spec of it, just if something actually happens with it. Uh, and I'll give it a read as well just to see what, it, you know, what it's about. But that's Unicorn number one, and that's number two on my list this week. So number one on my list this week, uh, and again, I had a hard time selecting, but the reason I chose this one is because there is a movie um, on Netflix uh, that stars Charlize Theron, um, and it's called The Old Guard. And I really dug the movie. And when I was kind of reading through the books that were coming out this week, this one kind of stood out to me. And that's Old Guard Tales Through Time number one. Um, and this is a... Um, basically, there's a bunch of writers, um, a bunch of different artists writing, you know, different books. Uh, so you've got Andrew Mack, which is Andy in the movie. That's who Charlize Theron plays. The Scythian... A warrior over 6,000 year, years old who has fought more battles than she cares to remember has kept one constant companion through her lifetime long combat. Her labories, which is a battle axe. Um, so this is just a you know an anthology or a story based around that character. Um, if you've seen that movie on Netflix, like it's got one of the dopest first scenes where they walk in and they get mowed down. Her and her whole team get mowed down. Uh, by the enemy and then all of a sudden just get up and and then kill everybody in the room uh, so it's a really uh, like I said I really dug the movie uh, and I thought hey you know that was pretty good I'm gonna check this out so that's number one on my list this week and that's Old Guard Tales Through Time number one so that wraps up our top five list and we'll finish out the video with a couple of cool covers um, I have become a huge David Mack fan um, and he did a 1 in 50 variant for the mini desk of Layla Star number one that if I can locate, I'm definitely going to buy. Uh, I'll pop it up here on the screen right now. Um, I love his use of colors, just the colors that he uses. His covers always stand out to me when I see them. Um, so this David Mack cover, the 1 in 50 for that Layla Star book, uh, is definitely one if I can locate, I'm picking up. And then last up on the list is one, um, it's Godzilla Monsters and Protectors Rise Up Part 1, and this is the variant cover, and it is a, it's like a photo, um, and it's like the old school, old Godzilla movies, um, and you've got Godzilla essentially ascended by a bunch of, uh, looks like cannons, uh, getting ready to try to take Godzilla out, which we all know is not going to work. But I really kind of dig that cover, and it's a little different for me. Like, I was kind of surprised when I saw it. I was like, whoa, kind of like that. Um, so that's Godzilla Monsters and Protectors number one, and that's the variant uh, photo cover. All right, guys, so that's the list this week. I hope you found it informative. I hope it uh, helps you make some selections on comic book day. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate all the support I'm getting, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys have the best new comic book day ever. I know I'm going to have a good time picking up some new reads. Uh, remember, hit that subscription button, turn on that notification bell, 
head over to ST uh, to Street Level Hero LA and use that code STC10. Hope you guys are all doing well. Until next time. <laughs>